Hello students in my today's video we'll be discussing about the physical properties of alcohols so let us consider how alcohols are represented alcohols are represented by the general formula ROH OH group is attached to an alkyl group R the physical properties of alcohols mainly depend upon the OH group attached to an alkyl group. So let us consider the first property boiling point. The OH group is involved in the intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Therefore, boiling point of alcohols are greater than hydrocarbons. Let us under, underline this point. Greater than hydrocarbon, haloalkene and ethers of comparable molecular masses. So let us consider the intermolecular hydrogen bonding in alcohol, how it is present. So let us take an example of ethanol that is CH3CH2OH. Hydrogen of one ethanol molecule is bonded to the oxygen of another ethanol molecule that is will show the dotted line as bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding to the oxygen of another molecule. So this is having greater boiling point due to the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding than that of of the halo alkene of comparable mass that is let us consider an example of chloroethane it is having greater boiling point than chloroethane and chloroethane has greater boiling point than that of the ether that is will consider dimethyl ether molecular masses are almost similar here thus we have arranged it let us consider another point boiling point of alcohol increases with the increase in the number of carbon atom due to the increase in underline this sentence due to the increase in van der waal forces therefore boiling point of methanol ethanol propanol are arranged as follows so let us consider methanol the formula for methanol is ch3 OH next is ethanol here we see only one carbon atom whereas in ethanol there are how many two carbon atoms CH3CH2OH the size of the alkyl chain length increases number of carbon atom also increases in propanol CH3CH2CH2OH we see there are three carbon atoms so as the size of the carbon chain increases van der Waal forces also increases since propanol has greater boiling point than ethanol ethanol has greater, greater boiling point than methanol. Let us consider the next point. Boiling point of isomeric alcohol decreases with the increase of branching in carbon chain and due to the increase of sorry due to the decrease of van der Waal forces. So increase in branching decreases the van der Waal forces and boiling point also decreases. So let us consider an example here. Isomeric refers to what which have same molecular formula. So let us see the examples here which are having same molecular formula but different structural formula formula that is carbon chain is different we will consider chain isomers here so let us consider first normal butane that is normal butanol straight chain butanol ch3 ch2 ch2 oh you can see the larger surface area here occupied by the four carbon atom and how many hydrogen atoms are there totally there are 10 hydrogen atoms and one oxygen we will consider another compound with the same molecular formula but the change in carbon chain so let us consider here ch3 ch ch3 ch to 2 OH here you can see here also there are totally how many carbon atoms 4 carbon atom 10 hydrogen atoms are there so H10 and 1 oxygen atom so molecular formula is the same let us consider another example CH3 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 OH here also we observe that how many carbon atoms are there totally 4 carbon atoms are there 10 hydrogen atom and 1 oxygen you can see that branching increases boiling point decreases all three are having same molecular formula but the surface area occupied by the first is greater than the last one and you can see that thus we say that as the branching increases boiling point decreases because the surface area also decreases and van der Waal force also decreases so here we can see that butanol is having greater boiling point than isobutanol which is having greater boiling point than tertiary butanol let us consider the next point that is solubility solubility refers to what how to what extent it is dissolving in water so let us consider that due to the presence of oh group it is soluble in water because oh has a tendency to form intermolecular hydrogen bonding now it will form intermolecular hydrogen bonding with the molecules of water so we say that in case of the term solubility lower members of alcohol are readily soluble in water due to the forming 
formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding but as the alkyl chain length increases the solubility decreases so here we have seen why they are soluble because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding and as the alkyl chain length is increasing solubility is decreasing let us consider an example for this so methanol ch3oh and let us consider another example ch3 ch2 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 oh so you can say that ch3 oh is easily soluble in water when compared to the other next is physical properties of phenol so physical properties of phenol are also due to the presence of the oh group here we say that oh group is attached to an benzene ring so physical properties are mainly dependent on the oh group so boiling point boiling point of phenol also depends on oh group because it has a tendency to form what hydrogen bonding so boiling point of phenols are also higher than that of arenes aryl halides and aryl ethers so alcohol and phenols both exhibit higher boiling point and arene aryl ethers of similar mass comparable mass the high boiling point of phenol is due to the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding so let us consider here an example of phenol and we'll represent the hydrogen bonding here one phenol molecule will show how it is bonded to another molecule by hydrogen bonding so hydrogen of one phenol shows intermolecular hydrogen bonding with that of the oxygen of another phenol and so on so we the dotted line indicates here intermolecular hydrogen bonding so so high boiling point of phenol is due to the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding and due to the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding we can say that they are soluble so solubility depends upon what the oh group present in phenol so we say phenols are soluble in water due to the presence of the oh group which have a tendency to form in intermolecular hydrogen bonding so they are sparingly soluble in water because of their ability to form what intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water however solubility of phenol in water is much lower than that of alcohol why it is lower than that of alcohol due to the presence of the benzene ring it is a hydrophobic group so it means that due to the presence of hydrophobic group which is not soluble in water hydrophobic refers to it is afraid of getting dissolving in water so this part is not soluble in water whereas only oh part is soluble in water hence we say it is sparingly soluble in water so due to the presence of the hydrophobic part it is sparingly soluble in water so we say it is sparingly soluble because it has a ability to form intermolecular hydrogen bonding but solubility is much lower than alcohol due to the presence of a large hydrophobic benzene ring i hope you found this video useful thank you for watching please like it share it and subscribe it